Hi, this is AK Sera from middlewareinventory.com. In this uh, post uh, video, we are going to see about Ansible Playbook uh, quick introduction and uh, the theoretical information of this uh, vlog I'm talking here would be available in www.middlewareinventory.com. So you can find the link uh, of this post in the YouTube comment box here. So let us get started. So I have uh, a Mac PC uh, here. Uh, it's a MacBook Pro, a uh, MacBook Pro. Then let's go ahead and uh, just show me my environment setup. I have my Ansible installed. The Ansible version is 2.7.6, and uh, this is a directory. Ansible examples. Uh, so let me get rid of some YAML files. We don't want that. Let me. Uh, yeah, it's just okay. We will create it as we are going in. So now, uh, yes, we have an, a single Ansible host file. This is uh, going to be my inventory. So let's open the inventory. So this is my in inventory file where I have a host group named Web Service under which I have uh, uh, two hosts defined: MWA Web 01, MWA Web 02, and I have defined some variables for this uh, Web Server host group. So whatever uh, the list of servers coming under this web server host group will have these uh, variables assigned automatically. And uh, what I have, what I'm assigning here is Ansible SSH user is background, Ansible uh, SSH private private key file is private key and SSH common odds. And these are also some. Uh, uh, this one is to uh, you know control the host key verification and everything. Otherwise, we will. Uh, get this host key related error messages I don't want that so uh, I have built my missions with vagrant uh, uh, so if you wanted to know what is uh, vagrant and ansible there is an article uh, vagrant and how ansible works so you can go ahead and refer uh, another post in middleware inventory where we have uh, a detailed coverage about the vagrant and ansible now let us go ahead now I have uh, two servers named MWA web01 and web02 let me make sure that they are live by just pinging them okay i'm getting a ping reply mwa web02 in fact we actually have some uh, systematic procedure uh, to verify that ansible is able to connect to these boxes so i there is a ansible ad hoc command uh, to validate this uh, host availability uh, it's same like ping okay there is a module dedicated module called ping so uh, here ansible is a command and web service is a host name and m is to just it's an option uh, to say which module i'm going to be using i'm going to be using hyphen m ping and i have to say what is the host file where ansible should uh, take these hosts from so i have my ansible host file internally so i don't want to use the default one so i will create a directory whenever i want to create some project so i will just uh, keep everything some uh, how to say uh, source control managed so i can you know uh, pretty much control it now let's do it if ansible is able to connect using those uh, host key verification and the vagrant and everything it would be able to uh, uh, give you this uh, result like uh, the success message would come now so this is a sign that Ansible is recognizing it and we have a better connectivity Ansible control mission uh, in uh, my Mac where from where you have uh, where you're running your playbook or where you have Ansible installed is called an Ansible control mission so here MacBook uh, is uh, in my MacBook it's called an Ansible control mission so from my Ansible uh, control mission I'm just executing this uh, so if I refer Ansible control mission to confuse it is just a host where you have ansible installed now let's uh, go ahead and create our playbook ansible playbook.payment so i'm gonna create uh, a playbook which is also already in the post so let's go back to the post uh, paste i just uh, created a playbook here you can see name a playbook hosts web service remote user is root like what what is the user it's supposed to run and uh, tasks and everything now uh, so we actually have to do some modification in here 
uh, I need to say become true become user is root remote user is actually not required here so let us remove it I will also update in the post so now this is our playbook we have we have uh, uh, we just named this playbook as a playbook maybe I will name it something meaningful uh, let me name this playbook I mean this is the name of the play I would say uh, uh, let's say play web server installation uh, let's say tomorrow if uh, I wanted to do some uh, web logic uh, installation or a Tomcat installation or if I wanted to do uh, another set of tasks and, and another different set of host group, all I have to do is uh, create a different play something like this maybe I can show you in here uh, like this you can see this is a play one this is a play two so uh, against a different host so as I have mentioned here a play is an ordered set of tasks which should be run against a host selected from your inventory and a playbook is a text file that contains a list of one or more plays to run in an order uh, I don't know if it made sense maybe I'll put it in uh, I'll rephrase that so play is nothing but it's uh, it contains a list of tasks and it's a group of tasks run against uh, a, a host group uh, you, you can see here and uh, a single play or a multiple play together comes comes together and create a playbook. Playbook is like a manifesto or a kind of a manual where you just uh, tell Ansible what you have to do. And uh, the order here is so important because uh, Ansible will uh, start executing the ta tasks defined in the playbook from uh, top to bottom. It will come one by one. So uh, here, uh, this is the first task that is going to be executing and NCR Apache is running is the second task it is going to be considered. Now let's save this. Uh, now let us go ahead and execute this playbook. Ansible playbook. Ansible playbook dot OAML. Uh, we can do a quick syntax check. Yes. So we done the syntax check. Uh, could okay. Yeah. Maybe we will just pass the host file let's yes okay playbook ansible so we are good we ho don't have any issues if there is any syntax related issues we will get it uh, now let's go ahead and execute this maybe if you want to dry run this uh, there is an option uh, called a hyphen c i believe you can actually what is it okay i'm it's sure okay we will come to this uh, dry run part but let, let's maybe we'll go ahead and execute this uh, yes and some playbook uh, before doing that uh, you see this error message it is coming uh, the cow say uh, I have actually have some tool installed in my local called cow say I if you are not aware of it it is just a uh, uh, kind of some funny tool to uh, echo the message uh, in some with a cow it, there are dragon say and uh, there are different kind of say's available so now uh, let me switch off this thing and civil no cows equal to one if you have ansible uh, not valid in this context okay what is it okay. yeah yes okay got it. uh let's hope that it's set now let us execute our task ansible playbook the playbook name and uh, i is an inventory ansible host i am considering the local inventory if you are uh, mentioned if you are mentioning your uh, host files and the host groups and uh, hosts and the host groups in your uh, default etc ansible host default inventory you don't have to do this let us go ahead and execute it here we go it's you can see that the cow say is actually disabled now the message is coming in a typical uh, start which is good let's execute this task it's taking a time it's going to take a time it does. okay meanwhile i would like to show you about ansible ad hoc commands there are uh, i have even mentioned in the post if you want to read 
more about what is Ansible attack commands and everything, I would recommend you to read at Ansible attack command. Just find middleware inventory as article, Ansible attack command example. Uh, it's a cheat sheet. I have actually uh, grouped all uh, like, uh, how to say, 17 examples of uh, how Ansible ad hoc command can help you. Before you are coming to playbook, it is actually recommended to uh, understand. It is recommended to, to, to you that uh, you have to uh, come through uh, this uh, Ansible attack commands. So this uh, Ansible attack command is just like a single uh, I mean, by the name itself, you can understand it's just an ad hoc. It, it's not any program or it's not a, any functional kind of thing. It just run as one off thing. It's like uh, run a single task or something. If you see, uh, you can actually you know install a product. You can just do anything. But some of the commands, like some of the modules that you see here, like yam or uh, uh, how to say uh, ping, there are a lot of modules. Like some of the modules cannot be used uh, in ad Ansible ad hoc. Only uh, they will make sense only when you are using Ansible uh, playbook. So you cannot use all the modules in Ansible ad hoc, uh, but you can use all the modules in Ansible playbook. So uh, you try to write, uh, you can put uh, everything, like uh, you can even uh, make this ad hoc command to look like an Ansible playbook. Uh, we can even put all these ad hoc commands into a single playbook and we can run it. So it's it's more like Ansible playbook is like, a, how to say, a multiple uh, ad hoc commands. It's a group of uh, multiple commands organized together to do some uh, something, uh, how to say, perfect, like uh, a complete installation of an infrastructure like PHP, uh, I mean, installation of Apache and then PHP and MySQL, something like that. So, yes, if you go, there are actually also on a post I have made where uh, Ansible web logic. Uh, yes, you can actually go and see uh, this here in this post. I have covered uh, a big playbook, like how to see the Ansible, uh, how to use Ansible to install uh, entire infrastructure, like web logic with the clustering and everything. Uh, you can actually get the codes from Jitter. So let's come back. Now you can see the playbook has executed successfully and you can see that uh, everything is whatever it is changed we will get it in yellow when uh, whatever is uh, unchanged like uh, skipped and all you will uh, get to do it. and this gathering facts is something it will happen every time it will gather some facts about uh, um, the remote host which is uh, actually good i even have written an article about the, what is the facts and what are the facts list and everything you can go and search about it now uh, maybe i will show you this uh, ansible facts list yes uh, yeah here we go you can actually see what are the facts and how to use them and how it works and everything so these are this uh, list of facts that uh, ansible cover uh, how to say capture about the remote host uh, so that it, you, it, it, this information can be used in your playbook. Now, so uh, that's all uh, folks. So here we have successfully created and executed an Ansible playbook. So there are a lot of articles I have written about Ansible uh, in middle inventory. You can actually go and uh, explore and uh, good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.